Today we're back in Notting Hill. The last time we were here, we were here for the Notting Hill Carnival, but today we are going to be taking you on a tour of the Notting Hill neighborhood. Notting Hill is located in West London and it's known for its colorful houses as well as being the film set for several movies. We are on the hunt for some coffee. The place where we're going for coffee is called Hermano's Colombian Coffee. We just passed a scone place and uh, it was very, very tempting to go inside, but we've held off because this coffee is supposed to be amazing. Everything in Notting Hill seems to be brightly colored. It's so cute. Well, I think for the most part, we've done all right with the weather, but today there's like a slight drizzle. That's definitely the sign that summer is finished and autumn is here. So far, we've just been walking down Portobello Road. It's taken us past some really cool, colorful houses. If you keep walking down Portobello, it will take you all the way down to the market area. There are lots of antique stores in Notting Hill and Alice is probably the most famous one. I can see why Alice is the most famous one. It probably has the most unique brick brac. Uh, there's like a little Pinocchio wooden figure, lots of china. We should get this for Holly. She keeps uh, losing her suitcase. Even though we just saw a bunch of beautiful houses, painted houses, those aren't the real Instagram spot. The real one, you have to come to Denby Terrace and almost instantaneously you can tell why this is the real spot. These houses are just brighter, crisper, not like the other houses in Notting Hill. We just aren't even trying. Which one's your favorite color? Which house would you take? Definitely like the hot pink one. Hot pink? Yeah. I would take the canary yellow. Just has a nice happy feel to it. It's like a jacket. What are you getting uh, flashbacks to Notting Hill Carnival? When we came for the carnival, most of the stores were closed, everything was boarded up, so it looks completely different today. I didn't even realize I had walked down the street before. We're at Hermano's Colombian Coffee, and this place is amazing. It is a definite must visit. The owner has so much good energy. She welcomed us in. She basically talked about the coffee, and I believe these coffees cost £3.20, which is all right. It's on par with Monmouth coffee that we had in Borough Market. After all the antiques, we've just entered into the world famous Portobello Market. So on the right hand side, there are food stalls set up. Um, I think this section is the fruit and veg section. Uh, we're gonna keep walking down to explore more of it. You know we're in a Porsche area when you have shops like this and this. I don't think I've ever come across a place that serves freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. So Mike's right here has a sign on the door that says no riffraff, so sorry. Oh, not allowed it. Leave the awkward jokes to me, bro. We're going to go check out some of the filming locations for the movies that I mentioned earlier, uh, Love Actually and Notting Hill. On Blenheim Crescent is the legendary bookstore from the movie Notting Hill. It was the bookstore that Hugh Grant's character owned, and it's right behind us at number 13. We just came across the Mr. and Mrs. Men bookstores, and we're trying to find one for each. Holly. Mr. Nonsense. Little Miss Bad. As soon as we walked in, you can smell books. It's such a nice smell. That's I love your, bookstores. That's your favorite part of reading, isn't it? Smelling, Smelling the, book. the book, yeah. <laughs> From the bookstore that was owned by Hugh Grant in the Notting Hill movie, now we're gonna go to his pretend home in the movie, which I believe is 280 Westbourne Park Road. We've just made it to our second movie location, and uh, it seems like the character Hugh Grant played has hit some tough times because this uh, door has all been graffitied up so it's not as iconic or crispy as it is in the movie mm -hmm. life happened don't get it twisted these are the fake houses your picture will not get as many instagram lights as it would in digby's terrace digby our third and final stop of notting hills film location tour is at St. Luke's Muse 
and uh, there was a scene featured in Love Actually where I believe a guy professes love to Kara Knightley. So that was shot on this road. This is a very cute street. So this street, back in the 17th, 18th century, was used for horse stables on the bottom floor and then on the upper floor is where the people would live. One of the cool things about walking around London is you'll stumble upon these blue plaques and it will give you information about people that used to live in the buildings or maybe something historic happened. So it's pretty cool to find them. All right, if you're into graffiti, graphic gallery right here will teach you how to make your own graffiti. So I think it's about 35 pounds and the master graffiti artists will teach you all of their skills. That gallery was very cool. I was actually kind of tempted to take off a class. Anyway, we have finished exploring Portobello Market. We are now looking for a place to eat, so uh, we're gonna to try to find the food stalls of the market. So it turns out, despite what Google says, the Portobello market isn't open throughout the week. It's actually only open on Fridays and Saturdays, which is why we can't find any of the food stalls. What's plan B? Don't have one, because we were gonna eat at the Portobello market. So I'm gonna find something right now. I have a trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna take Holly to a British institution called Greg's. I feel like you've been there before, but it's never been on camera. Frankly speaking, the food we get at Greg's is just as good as any five-star dining. And we'll show you why. We just got our lunch. I got a margarita pizza, which looks, I'm not even gonna lie, that does look absolutely amazing. Look at the melted cheese. How much was it? Two pounds? Um, kind Greg's. of looks like the pizza that we used to get back in school. Greg's for the win. The dough is a bit crumbly, but this uh, cheese and sauce, unmatched. Ellie told me that I have to try the sausage roll from Greg's. I have to say, Ellie was right. Sausage roll from Greg's, pretty tasty. And it was one pound, 10 pence. Thank you so much for coming along with us on our Notting Hill tour.